This is Chris, the Idaho painter here on Home Improvement How To's. It's an awesome day because I'm over here in Berlin, had the opportunity to paint on the Berlin wall, courtesy of Airless Discounters. I'm inside the business today, had the opportunity to talk with Stefan, and here comes Stefan, the owner of Airless Discounters. Hi, Chris. Thank nice you very much, you. Stefan, for bringing me over here for this wonderful opportunity. So, Stefan, we're here now, and we're standing inside your business, Airless Discounters, here in Berlin. What I want you to do is tell me a little bit about your company, a little bit about the history and how you got into this business of selling airless sprayers. Um, we started about 10 years ago and actually I was a student and um, a student needs money um, to um, and um, I started uh, I saw an opportunity buying old equipment repairing it old airless sprayers and that's what I did um, it started from there and developed step by step uh, first you maybe repair one or two and then the people coming in and um, now we are um, a full service um, airless company. And my understanding is, is you're not just a full service airless company, you're a worldwide full service airless company. I mean, you sell to, tell me some of the countries you sell to. Um, we, tr uh, we sell worldwide um, and um, um, with sprays it becomes a bit more difficult, but um, for parts, um, accessories and all that, um, we, we ship it worldwide and our main market is Europe. We have um, teams for different countries, for France, for Italy, uh, for Spain, for the English market, and as well, of course, for our home market, Germany. So you're, you're right here in Germany, in Berlin, Germany. This is your home office, but yet you sell worldwide. And if I, if I speak a different language, I know you have websites or you have YouTube channels and you can teach people how to use airless sprayers and stuff in different languages. And why don't you tell me some of the languages that, uh, different languages you guys speak and, um, and offer support to? Yeah, as I said, uh, French, um, Italian, English, um, German, Spanish. Um, that's a, already a big market and we can, can cover a lot. Um, there are countries around maybe with um, other languages, but often the people are able to speak um, English or German and French. So we are we are actually have customers not just in these markets, we have customers far beyond and our team is able to communicate in five languages and um, usually that works quite well. And so my, my understanding is if, if I'm a painter in another country, even though you're in Berlin, I can call you up, I can get service, and I can purchase a pump from you, and it's going to be shipped right to my door in another country? That's what it is. Um, the idea is that we um, compare to um, the small dealer around the corner, um, um, which are less and less available, um, is that we have a big stock. We uh, operate centrally from Berlin. And um, we have the spare part there. We have um, a storage with about 250 sprayers all the time. Um, we have guns, hoses, tips, whatever you need. We don't need to order it. We have it and ship it out the same day. So um, even if you are in another country, um, we are often quicker than the, the small dealer around the corner. We just need to order the equipment. We just have it there, ship it out. Yeah, it's kind of amazing because um, I've been in a lot of paint stores in my career and traveled all over the place in other countries and stuff, and I've never seen as many parts and, um, say, tips. I mean, you've got a wall of tips over here larger than any wall of tips I've ever seen, and you got hoses. It's just amazing a variety of equipment you have and how much you have, so it doesn't look like you're ever going to run out. That's the idea. The, the idea is to have everything there, every brand, every part, so that we can help, help out very fast. The problem is um, you don't buy uh, paint sprayers or, um, or spare parts for fun. You buy them because you need them. Um, um, you have to do a job and uh, if your machine, uh, your airless sprayer is failing, you are, you are depending on tips, you are depending on spare parts and uh, we see it as a service to deliver it very fast. And with our centralized approach, um, that we have a big storage here based in Berlin, we are able to ship it very fast and um, deliver it quick um, to repair equipment. And one thing I did, because I've met, I think I've met all of your staff and they're abs your staff is absolutely amazing and they really know their equipment and you have uh, a staff that repairs equipment. But when somebody calls up, what I've noticed where I come from, you just walk into a paint store and typically somebody that doesn't know a whole lot about airless sprayers, they're just gonna sell you an airless sprayer. They're just gonna give you uh, pretty much just the same tip with it and just a couple of accessories or whatever comes with it and you just walk out the door. I think what I've learned with you, it's a lot more than just somebody calling up and saying, 
I need a 795 and then you just ship them a 795. It seems like to me, your staff really uh, kind of talks to them, tries to figure out where they're coming from and stuff. Why don't you talk to me a little bit about that? It's, uh, we train our staff internally um, and make sure that even, even for all the, the languages, um, the staff knows about it. We have uh, trained technicians uh, which can uh, help out in special questions when it gets really tricky. Um, and um, we, we try not just to sell equipment, we, want to, we see it as a full service package because um, um, sooner or later you will have questions about which tip size to use, why isn't uh, my paint sprayer running, how do I clean it and therefore um, um, we always discuss these issues with the, with the customer before he buys or if he buys online we call back and make sure they get the right tips and also they have the right machine. So, so um, often we see that people buy two sprayers which are too small for their projects. And then we check the paints they are, they are using. We check, check the projects they are running. Is it um, just small apartments or a business projects or houses? Um, so we can really consult them and help them out um, to get the best solution um, for, their, uh, for their needs. Yeah, I think when I've, of all the paint stores I've ever been to and, and all the service centers and everybody that sells parts and supplies, I don't think I've seen any paint company or talked to anybody that cares as much about their customers and gives as good a customer service as you, as you guys do. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I think it's just incredible, you know, the, um, you know, your reach, you know, how far, you know, your reach is outside of just Germany. When I came here, I thought you'd just be selling stuff here in Germany, even in the Berlin market, but it's incredible people from all over the world. I know, I think a little bit about your history. You told me how you started and that was selling stuff on eBay, I think. And uh, I think, I don't know, you, why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Um, yeah, I, I, again, I, I was a student and there wasn't much money around and um, I saw that as an opportunity and um, I talked to painters and I realized that a lot, lot of them have old equipment, uh, equipment in, their, in their garage and I called them up and say, okay, I come around um, um, and, and uh, you just sell it to me. And um, after a while, you, you, you trained your, or I trained myself in understanding this equipment. Um, I learned about the spare parts um, and all uh, where are the problems with the machines. Um, and um, that's, um, that's how it happened. And that, that's an incredible story. Uh, you know, you went from, you know, a guy just selling stuff on eBay and I was walking through your store and you're, you took me downstairs where you do repairs and kind of just walked me through the inner workings of the store. And I saw these tips right here and I've never seen this tip before in my life. And, you know, it has a name on it and stuff. And of course, I use a lot of tips, go through a lot of tips, and I'm always trying to figure out and find the best tip for, uh, for the job I'm doing. And since I've never seen this, I was very curious. And why don't you tell me what this tip is and who makes it? That's um, our Fabmax tip. If we look at paint sprayers, we are in a market with just a few producers, and um, uh, often the prices are pretty high. Um, so um, where we can, we produce our, um, our own uh, products and market them under the brand name Farbmax. Um, that's the case um, for the tips. They are made in Germany, so are really high quality, and we are able to market them um, at a very uh, a decent price. And a lot of our customers use them, and it's for us a very nice marketing tool as well. So um, beyond the, these tips, um, we have other products as well, like extensions, hoses, fluids like piston oil and um, cleaner and also um, a paint sprayers. And I think you talked to me because I go through a lot of filters and especially this last year, we were going through filters almost every day, gun filters. And I think you told me you even um, have your own gun filters. Yeah, yeah, of course. And, and your products, it seems like from some of the prices you told me, your products are significantly or less than some of the major manufacturers. If we take a gun, if we take a gun filter, a gun filter is a really simple product. It's just a mesh. Uh, which you put into your gun or in your manifold filter system. Um, so um, often I ask myself, why are the prices so crazy um, for some of these products? And um, we, we try to offer an alternative. Um, and uh, many, many of our customers are happy about it to see that and um, to use that equipment. Um, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. And these tips, I don't know if you, you can see these tips. 
I, I'm kind of very picky about the products I buy, the products I use, and the first thing is I like them to just look good. And this is a very nice looking tip. You've talked to me a little bit about um, the, the carbide that goes into it. I'm very excited to try them. So I'm gonna be testing these, tests that, these tips out and we'll be letting you know what we think of them and whether there's something we're gonna be continuing to stock in our vans. I know you even have your own brand of sprayers and um, why don't you talk to me just a little bit about your sprayers. There are, um, there are great big brands um, around, um, but often they are quite expensive and we have customers which are not able to afford it because they're very small or they just have um, um, a paint job once in a while. And for them we try to offer um, um, alternative products, which are of course not um, the high-end quality, but uh, which are decent products uh, which will fulfill um, their needs. And um, so we are, we are looking around with what is in the market beyond the big brands and um, try to offer that to our customers as well. Uh, we have um, a clear quality standard inside the company, so it's not that we just buy anything which is around. We, when we become interested or we learn about new equipment in the market, we get it, we test it, we often take it into rental so that we have really a long run um, um, situation where we can make um, yeah, where we can get an idea about the quality in the long run. You know, Stefan, this has been an absolute amazing opportunity. Uh, I've had the opportunity for you to take me around the city of Berlin. Your staff, your staff is absolutely amazing. Love those guys. Their, their customer service, their hospitality is great. You showed us some, a, a really fun time. You worked it out so I can come all the way over here from the United States and paint on the Berlin Wall. What a fabulous experience. You'll have to stay tuned. To, I'm going to be having a video showing you, you know, what it was like painting on the Berlin Wall. Thank you for bringing me over here. Stephen. Thank you for coming over. I'm very excited to learn even more about your business and possibly even buying some products with you. If any of my followers are interested in um, you know, finding a little bit more about Airless Discounters, I'm going to be putting his website and video link in the video description, and it's also right here in the video. Stefan, again, thank you once again for bringing me over here. Appreciate it very much. This is Chris the Idaho Painter with Stefan at Airless Discounters, and like we always say, hopefully we'll see you on our next video out.